Sirare, adventurer. Thank you so much for escorting the prince. Your Highness, you must remain strong. Get up, please. I've prepared the place for you to rest. Oh, no, I don't think so. By the way, did you read the records? What did you think? The royal family that the people admire? <laughs> Oh dear. You worry too much, don't you? He said to leave him alone, but you should take a rest too. You've already done enough. Don't worry about me. Set your mind to more important matters. We may not know yet what the blood and tears from the prophecy signify, but one thing is certain. The Prince will undoubtedly overcome this ordeal. When that happens, we must be prepared to assist him to the best of our abilities. And then, he shall regain the second light. The lost crown. And rise anew as the new king. Wait! We don't have time. We must secure the town first. Premier Shen's mercenaries will arrive soon. We must prepare our defenses before that. Fortunately, this place is suitable for defensive battles. We need to meet with the town's chief and ask for their cooperation. <laughs> Such an absurd idea! You dare oppose the great Farhan Nether! That merchant told me that I can dispose of the prince as I wish, as long as I send the master back alive. Thanks to the support of Medea, I was able to march forward easily. After all, what I want is the prince. It's a win-win situation, isn't it? Prince Farhan? So you have the Premier's support? How can he use this situation as an excuse to bring in foreign troops? I owe you my gratitude. Thanks to you, Valencia can station its army within Medea's territory. Our relationship with Calpion will change significantly from now on. All thanks to a man captured by a woman! <laughs> Enough, Sarva. I shall not resist. The desires of the record keepers shall be fulfilled today. Well, it's not like you're throwing your life away. You'll just stand next to this Yildator's heart, and then... Rash! <clears throat> A Thor's heart? <laughs> that is why he fled all the way here? Are you the sun that shall ascend the skies? Or is it the Premier rising in power? <gasps> How do you know that prophecy? It's already spread to Valencia? My longing to conquer this land grows ever greater. All troops, listen up! We're retreating! Yes. Now that I know the Ator's heart is here, I no longer have a reason to take Prince Barid's away. There is no need to bring him to the desert. We can simply observe from here. And you, adventurer. It seems I always encounter you in situations like this. Prince Barids, adventurer, we'll cross paths again soon enough. Prince Barhan, why won't you take me? I'm useless here. Prince Barhan seems to know the prophecy as well. The Premier has probably shared it. Why is he trying to ruin Medea like this? Your Highness, please get up. We must stop him. <laughs> Stop him? And then what? He's still much more capable than me, or my father. My mindset determines the course of my life. Like you said, I'm weak, and I don't even have the courage to sacrifice myself. Your Highness, you can't indulge in your whims anymore. Think of the late King's will. You must protect Medea. <sighs> What's the point? Leave me alone. Your Highness! Your Highness! Adventurer, I'm so 
relief to have you here. I'll assist you so His Highness can gather his strength. Adventurer, as of this moment, I induct you into the Aksop royal family's Yanichari. Only the Yanichari can be pardoned for going against His Highness's wishes, for the sake of the royal family, for Medea, and for the right path. Adventurer? You're inducting the adventurer into my Yanichari? Huh? Let go! Release me right now! Just let me start the death all alone! Adventurer, I'm so relieved to have you here. I'll assist you so His Highness can gather his strength. Lamb lost 